Hi viewers, welcome back to my tutorial for today. I sincerely appreciate you guys for your love and thank you so much for stopping by. And if this is your first time, please help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. Also touch the notification bell. Select all to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now today's class we shall be looking at how to cut a Danchiki short dress. Okay, so here I'll be using this two yards of Ankara fabric for for it. So first thing is to fold my fabric into four equal parts because those won't be having a zipper. Okay, so here my my measurement will be starting from this line. All right. So the next thing to do is to take our half length measurement. The half length I'm working with it's 17 inches. Then I'll mark my 9 inches for my hip measurement. Then the length of the dress I'm working with is 40 inches plus 1 to give us 41 inches. The one will, the one inch is for the folding. Okay. All right, so I'll just go ahead and mark my 41 inches. Okay, so I'll mark my 41 inches. So in cutting in so for us to achieve this dress we'll be cutting the shoulder plus the sleeve okay we'll be cutting the shoulder and the sleeve together so when you are taking the measurements is either you measure from either you take the person's shoulder measurement that added to the length of your sleeve or you take your measurement so it's either you take the person's measurement from where you want the sleeve to start, you take it this way from here, okay? Then you cross it over to the other part. You cross it over from here, through the shoulder, down to where the other part where it will end. So whatever thing you have, you divide by two. Or if, for instance, that the length of your sleeve, you want it to be 10 inches, okay? That means 10 plus 10 will give us 20. Then if the person's shoulder is like 16, you just add it up. 10, sorry, uh, 20 plus that 16 will give us 36. All right? You just divide that 36 by 2. Okay? But so for this, uh, for this tutorial, we are making use of 8 inches for the sleeve. So 8 plus 8 will give us 16. And uh, my client's shoulder is also 16 inches. Okay? So that's 16 plus the 16 of the sleeve will give us 32 inches. So 32 inches divided by 2 will give us 16 inches. So here we we'll mark our 16 inches. Mark our 16 inches. So I'll, I'll use the remaining one inch here for my folding. Okay, so here I'll also mark my actual shoulder measurement. And the shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches divided by 2 to give us 8 inches. So here I will mark 8 inches. Okay, then I'll take my shoulder slope, which is 3 inches. Coming down to this shoulder part, I will mark my 1 inch for our shoulder slope. Then the armhole I'm working with is 18 inches. Divide by 2 to give us 9 inches. So here I will mark my 9 inches. Okay. okay this is our waistline. 
this is our hip line. Alright. Okay, from this one inch now, okay, let me come down, let me make a straight line to join my armhole. Okay, hope you're understanding what I'm doing. Alright, so from this one inch now, I will connect my slope. Okay, I will connect it to the three inches. Like so. Till. Okay. I'll just connect my slope this way till the end of the dress. So instead of taking my armhole measurement, sorry, my bust measurement at this line, okay, I will come down by one and a half inches. I'll come down by one and a half inches because if I'm to take my measurement here, you will end up you will end up having the the sorry the armhole will end up being a, a little bit uh, small. Okay, it's it's it will shorten because of what we have taken away from this upper part. Okay, so I will take my measurement from this part, not this line. Again, so I'll be taking our bust measurement at the second line. Okay, so the bust I'm working with is 41 inches, divide by 4 will give us 10.25. All right, so here I will mark my 10.25. Okay, so because this is a free dress, I'll be adding one and a half inches for my bust, and I will add one and a half inch for allowance for seam allowance okay so coming to our waist the waist i'm working with is 38 inches divide by four will give us nine inches so here i will mark my nine inches and at this point i will add two inches then another one and a half inch for our seam allowance okay so this two inches here is for the is. So coming to the hip measurement, the hip I'm working with is 48 inches. Divide by 4 will give us 12 inches. Then I'll add 2 inches for ease and 1.5 and inch for seam allowance. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now and connect this. Just use my hand to take all the sharp edges. Okay, the total of what I have at this hip part now is 15 inches. Okay, all right. Okay, coming to those hip parts, what I have here is 15 and a half inches all together sorry not 15 inches okay because our measurement is 12 inches when divided by four then plus two inches making it 14 inches then one and a half for our seam allowance making it 15 and a half okay so i will go down to okay coming down to the length of our dress I will mark that 15 and a half inches okay so I'll just connect it I'll just connect it straight all right 
So this is what we have. So I'll go ahead now and cut it out. But before then, coming here, we're going to join this. You know, if I leave this to be stretched this way, you will end up, after sewing it, you end up seeing that, that the armpit side will be longer than the upper part. Okay? So because of that, we'll go in by one inch. Okay? I'll go in by one inch this way. I'll connect it from this part to this one inch. Okay. okay okay so i'll go in by one inch then coming to this joining this bust measurement the line that joined that connects it to the way uh, to the waistline i'll come out by one and a half inch from this point here i'll come out by one and a half okay now come out here by one and a half inches then from this point now I will connect it to this one and a half then from this one and a half I'll connect it to the waist line so this is what we have so now we are not we are no longer making use of those but this okay all right Then coming to our neckline, I'll be using a V-shaped neck, okay? So here, I'll be minusing seven and a half inches for the front. Then for the back, I'll be using two inches, okay? Then for the depth, for our neck volume, sorry, I'll be using I'll be using four inches for our neck volume. Okay, so from those two inches now, I will connect it to this four inches. Okay. So I'll first of all cut out the back neck then I'll go ahead and cut out those other parts Okay, after cutting it out, I will just separate the back from the front part so I can be able to cut out my front neck. So this is what I have for the front part. Okay, this is what I have. Okay. 
okay i want to do something here if you don't want this v to be sharp you can equally curve it a little bit okay you can just decide to do something like this okay like this But make sure if anything you are cutting out will not affect this upper part. Okay? Alright. Okay, so this is what I have for the front neck. So here I'll be using this, uh, this Ankara fabric to turn it out. Okay, I'll be using this for the facing. You can decide to use the same fabric for the facing. Okay, you can just decide not to bring anything outside. You can just decide to, to do the facing and turn it inward. Okay, but for this, I want my facing to be outside. Okay, I'll just use this to make this shape, uh, this neck shape. Okay, with this fabric just to make it a little bit uh, colorful okay and i'll also be using this fabric to turn up the sleeves all right so i'll just go ahead now and cut out i'll just go ahead and cut out facing for this all right okay i'll first of all fold this fabric into two okay and make sure that the folded part also faces the folded part of your dress okay okay so you just determine where you want it to start they want somewhere here okay so just Connect it and sketch out the shape at this other fabric. Then here I also determine where I want it to stop. Okay, take it here. So from this place now, I will just connect it. Okay. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So I'll use this now to cut out the lining of it. So I'll be using this. I'll be using this fabric also to cut out my my lining for it. And the same way I cut out the front part is the same way that I'm going to cut out the back facing. Okay? Alright. Okay. I've cut out my lining for my front facing. So I'll just go to my machine now and I'll sew it all this way. From here now. This way. And I'll turn it up from this side, okay? And I'll do the same thing to the back also, right? I'll sew this way, leaving the neck part, okay? Then after turning it up, I'll now stitch it and attach it to the neck, okay? When I attach it, I'll come and show you how I'll be flipping it out and stitching it up to the front part of my 
front dress okay and also this is my pocket i'll be inserting the front pocket that will be here okay this won't be, a, be an inner pocket but rather it will be uh, an outer pocket okay so here i have my width of 12 inches and the length of 10 inches okay so i'll just use half an inch to to sew it up attaching it to the dress so I'll first of all attach it to my front dress before joining it to the back part okay let me just go ahead now and do this then attach it to the dress turn up the neckline attach it to the dress and I'll come and show you how it is before closing it up with our body measurements okay I've gone ahead to line up my facing okay so this is for the front and this is for the back okay and this also is my pocket okay I just attach I said something about using this other fabric to turn the the sleeve of my dress but since the fact that it won't be enough for me i decided to attach it on the on the pocket okay instead of the sleeve so i won't be attaching it again at the sleeve all right so here i just cut out two inches and the same length 12 inches which why my width okay then two inches okay for the length so sorry so I attach it at the back part, then flip it over, okay, or stitch it, okay, so that it will be firm. Then I now folded it and uh, stitch it up at the front part of my pocket. Then I use half inch, okay, to fold it in, then use my iron to hold it firm. So I'll go to the machine now. So this is our front part okay so at the back part of my dress at the back part of my front dress using the back part of this okay so the front part the front part will be facing the back part of the dress so I'll go ahead this way and stitch it up okay I'm going to stitch it up this way okay after which I will now turn it out to the front part okay and I'll have something like this okay I'll have something like this all right I'll also do the same thing to the back parts using the back facing okay but for the back okay wait so let me just finish for the front then I'll talk about the back part okay so after attaching this one and turning it up after attaching it and turning it up we have something like this Okay, so I won't be leaving it out this way. When I turn it out, I will now stop stitch it at the edges of the dress. Okay, I will just turn it because it's a facing, not a cape. Okay, so I won't be leaving it this way. So I'll just stitch it to this part. Then for the pocket. course I'm going to consider my seam allowance okay before attaching the pocket so I'll attach one at this side and I'll attach the other one at this side okay just one and a half inches 
away from the waist measurements. Then I'll attach it this way. So I'm going to sew it up this way, like this, this, and like so, leaving this place open. So this is all for the front part. Then for the back, remember this one we sewed at the back to turn it out to the front. But for this, we are but for the back we are going to sew at the front part of this dress. Okay, so this is the front part. So I'm going to stitch it up this way. Okay, I'm going to stitch it up this way. Then I will flip it over to the back part because this other facing is going inward not outside okay all right so after which i will come back and show you how i will be joining the back and the front okay so as you can see i've sewed my facing up okay around the neck and i've also attached my pocket okay i've also attached the pocket all right so the next thing i'll do now is to join the shoulders is to join the front and the back shoulders then i will use my body measurement okay so this is the neck for the back one also Okay. So front facing front side. So I'll go ahead and join the two shoulders. After that, after joining the shoulders this way, I will open it up, then fold my sleeve, okay? If I join here the shoulders, I'll fold my sleeves, then I'll use my body measurement to close it up, okay? This way, all right? And that will be all. Okay. So as you can see, I've joined the armhole and fold my armhole side. Okay. So I've also sewed it up using the body measurement plus the allowance that I added. The ease okay, so what I will do now is to turn it inside and notch out the ample part so that when you wear it, it won't be folding. Okay, so at this point now, I'm going to notch it. So I'll just go ahead and give it a nice press. Okay, all right. So maybe I'll put just put it on so you will see the fittings. This is the results of our dress. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Thank you for watching till the end. And please, if 
and you have not subscribed yet, can you do so by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. Till we meet in my next class. Love you all. Bye.